What is up everyone? Today is Tuesday, which means... Fix my microphone here. Today is Tuesday, which means that it's time for another live Q&A all about eBay, Amazon, and Facebook dropshipping. Thank you for your patience. We had some technical difficulties for all you who are here with me live. But let's get right into the content here, because I want to show you today a new software that we've been working on that will help us automatically quickly list items onto Facebook Marketplace from other retail websites like Amazon and Walmart.com. So this is a little bit of a sneak peek behind the scenes as to what's going on. So if you guys are here um, and you wouldn't mind, I would appreciate if you smash the like button down below. All right, so let's now jump over to my computer. Everything going good? Cool. All right, so drop shipping onto Facebook Marketplace. So let's say you have this item right here, okay? And you wanna add this to Facebook Marketplace. Now normally, what you have to do, let me reload this page. Um, actually, I don't even have to do that. So normally what you have to do is you have to download all these images, right? Copy the, the title, copy the description, and then you would paste it here onto a new listing on Facebook Marketplace, which will look a little bit like this. Um, this is the account that I don't really use, doesn't have the shipping option, so it looks a little bit different. Now that's all in good, all things considered, not that bad. It maybe takes a few minutes to do that. Just copying and pasting, hey, not too bad to create a listing for a product. A lot easier than going out to the store, having to buy the products, having to source them, take photos of them, and write up your own description. But wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to quickly list this item on the Facebook Marketplace? So let me refresh the page so that you can see what it is I'm talking about. Because now you see this button that just came up right here. It says select copy to. Hmm, I wonder what that does. So let's click on that and I will select this and now watch the magic happen. Just like that. What did it do? It just took all the images, it brought them over, it took the title and brought it over, it took the description and brought it over and it took the price and marked it up so we have enough to cover all our fees and a profit as well. Bam. So this is a Chrome extension that will allow us to do that. And the really cool thing, which I'm really excited to announce, is that this Chrome extension is one that my team has developed. So it's actually called the Dropshipping Titans Marketplace Helper. And right now it's still in beta, but I kind of wanted to give you guys a behind the scenes look. This will be available soon if all everything goes according to plan. The beta users are testing it, giving us some feedback on it, and I hope to open it up to more of you really soon, depending on how their feedback works out. Also, we hope to be adding more features to this in the future. But this is what it does so far. So the way this works is you, once you have the Chrome extension added, you can put in here how much of a markup you want. So if you, I put in here 30%, for instance, but if you put in here 100%, it's just gonna double the price. So it takes the price here on Amazon, which is 7037. And if I put in 100%, it would mark it up you know, double. If I put in 30%, it would mark it up by 30%. And then it rounds it because Facebook Marketplace only allows whole numbers. And then the other thing you can tell it is um, what the condition is, which you will probably always be new. And then what the brand is, if you wanted to, if you're selling a bunch from the same brand or know a lot of people just put not applicable in there. So then based on that, it just gets everything from Amazon and just boom, puts it right here into Facebook Marketplace right here, just like that. Very simple to use. Now it works with right now, Amazon, Home Depot and Walmart. Again, based on beta users feedback, we're gonna be adding more suppliers to that as well but we just kind of want to see what people are using. And we have some other cool plans for it as well, but that's what we have right now. Um, yeah, so stay tuned to the YouTube channel. I'll be talking more about this in the future once it's available and all the cool features that we're going to be uh, adding to it as well. I do want to show you one more feature that I absolutely love about this. So let's say we have multiple items here that we want to list. So what I can do is let's say we have, let's do three items. So I will open up three new tabs. Oh, what happened? There's one. There's two. And there's three. So we have three blank listings on Facebook Marketplace. So now if I come to one of these items, 
like this one and select this one, I could choose FB tab one and it will list it into the first Facebook tab. And now if I go to the second one and select here, FB tab two, it will list it into the second Facebook listing tab. And now if I choose the third one right here, I think you guys got the idea. FB tab three, it will list it into the third tab. So that's really helpful because how we want to use this sometimes is with virtual assistants. So I can have a virtual assistant just give me a list of items, like a, like a spreadsheet full of these items. I just open them up just like this. So it would open up all three of them, open up three Facebook, um, Facebook uh, listings like this, and then just quickly be able to, in a kind of way, bulk upload pretty quickly just from that list. And then the uh, Chrome extension does all the math for you as well in terms of the markup, so nothing you have to worry about there either. So that's it, that's what it does right now. Like I said, we are gonna be adding more features, some already planned, some based on user feedback. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited by this because I've never made a Chrome extension. I've never really done anything besides selling on different platforms like eBay and Amazon and Facebook, and then having courses about it and then YouTube channel. So I've never done a SaaS, which is called a SaaS, a software as a service which this will be. So I'm kind of excited to try it out and see how it works. I really want this to be like a very value packed little Chrome extension. So uh, yeah, that's, that's really my goal for it. All right, but let's see who's here in the chat now. And if you guys have any questions about drop shipping, about eBay or about Amazon, go ahead and throw them into the live chat. Let me know what you think. You're just kind of preliminary sort of feeling about this Chrome extension. And I kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit behind the scenes of what's going on with it. All right, we have a lot of messages here. So I'm gonna be way behind on the chat. So I do apologize for that. Come out, come out wherever you are. Yeah, a little bit late here because we had some Wi-Fi issues. One of the uh, problems of living in a van and being a digital nomad full time. Um, okay. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. All right, looks like we gotta get Orlando on video, people said, to make up for the time lapse. So maybe I'll bring him on later. Uh, okay. Return your camera to wish.com. <laughs> I gotta ret return my Wi-Fi setup to wish.com. That was the issue. Um, let's see. Yeah. All right, let's see if I can see some questions. Um, let's see. All right, let me scroll forward because we did have some of those technical issues. All right, Maria says, I'm about to purchase the eBay dropshipping course, but I'm waiting for the Facebook one. I'm happy he's making a course. So yeah, so I wanted to talk about this as well, give some information about this, because I will be making a Facebook Marketplace dropshipping course. Um, so the information about that, you can find in the description of this video. Here is the, the sales page for it, the wait list. As you see, enrollment's not open yet, but once it, <clears throat> Once it is open, it will be open from February 2nd until February 5th. So just a few days. Now this is a little bit different. I've never done that before where I have a course that's closed and then, sorry, just open for a short period. But <clears throat> the reason I'm doing it this way is because one of the bonuses you're going to get when you sign up for the course is you're going to get six weeks of group coaching with me. So in order for that to work, I have to close it off a certain point because if people join after week one, then they're gonna be behind. If they join two weeks later, then they're gonna be behind. So that's why I'm doing the six weeks of group coaching and have to open and close the course. So if you guys wanna check this out, this will be linked up in the description of my video. But the most important thing here is that you can get in early before February 2nd if you click this link, which will just basically bring you to this page, which is an invitation to the live training I'm going to be hosting on February 1st at 7 p.m. <clears throat> All about Facebook Marketplace drop shipping. I'm gonna give a lot of value during that. And it'll be the first chance for you to sign up for the course as well. 
So do make sure you come to this. This is completely free. Even if you're not going to join the course, you should still come because I'm going to give you guys a lot of free information and value there. Yeah. And so thank you for the reminder, Maria. Appreciate that. Um... Okay, how do you get views to your listings? I mean, I list stuff on, I think you mean Facebook Marketplace. I've had 10,000 sales on eBay, but in Marketplace, only 20 views. So there's a few things, there's a few things you gotta, gotta know in order to get the views and ultimately the sales. What I can tell you is that the views don't matter all that much. So for instance, there are some items I'm listing up on Facebook Marketplace and they're selling within a couple of hours, if not less than that. So if you have the right products listed at the right time with the right titles and a couple of other little things in there, then they can sell really fast and it doesn't even matter about the views. So that's, those are the kind of things I'm going to be talking about during that live training and of course definitely in my course as well. So you should come to that because I want to spend a lot more time going over that stuff during the training. <clears throat> Hey, what's up, Mark in Palm Springs. I forgot to tell you guys where I am right now. I always like to start out by doing that. I am currently in the Everglades in Florida, which should have been a cue to me that the internet wouldn't be great here, but for some reason I thought it would be good, and it was good for a few minutes when I first got here, so I thought, oh, we're set, and then right before we went live, it just dropped and went away, so we had to drive, find some better Wi-Fi, but hey, we're here. I made it up for you guys, hopefully. Hopefully I delivered on the software. Um, <laughs> Jay. If you guys don't know Jay, Jay is our resident uh, class clown, I guess you could say. Always giving me a hard time and always trying to make sure we have a good laugh here. So as he, he says, if I'm on a boat with Facebook Marketplace and eBay and have to choose which one to throw overboard, eBay is going in the water. Hey, what's up, Kenny? Thanks for being here. Hey, Addy in Tampa. <clears throat> um, so the cost I'm not entirely sure yet We're playing around with some different uh, price points it's not going to be too expensive I mean it's a Chrome extension but it will be a subscription service so it's definitely going to be less than 20 bucks a month so definitely but I just don't know exactly what it will be 60 a month no way Jay <laughs> game changer says let's Let's get social info. Yes, yeah, so it's not available to the public yet. So we'll work, work out those details later. We are, don't worry, we are parked right now in the RV, not driving right now. Damn, that's so cool, said Bryce. Glad you guys like it. At this point, we've maxed out the beta users. So we have enough. And then um, I'm going to open it up later to, I forget what they call it after beta, but it's basically when I'm going to be opening up to the general public at a discounted price with the understanding that there might still be some bugs to work out. So the, the soft, the Chrome extension is called the, um, what do we call it again? <laughs> the Dropshipping Titans Marketplace Helper. And then the, uh, I'm not sure of the launch date for it yet. It will hopefully be really soon. Hello from, I'm assuming that's Birmingham, Alabama. That's actually where this, this van that I live in was made in Birmingham. So shout out to Birmingham. Shout out to Storyteller Overland who made this van. I'm glad you like it, but like I said, we're, we're, we're good on the beta users for now. Hey, what's up, Bobby? Thanks for being here. Thanks, Mark. Again, when does it launch? We're, okay, so I'll tell you we're hoping it will launch next week around the time when the course launches. Um, but I've never made a Chrome extension or any sort of software as a service, so I, I don't want to make a promise that I, that I can't really deliver on yet. <clears throat> Tennessee in the house. Okay. It's not available yet. Y 
Yes, this is our new van. Had it for a few days now. Hey, what's up, uh, Ronald in Orlando? What's up, Scott in Atlanta? Um, okay. What to do if Facebook asks for your social security number and you are and you are for U.S. resident? Um, so yes, when you start selling on Facebook Marketplace, if you have the shipping option, meaning you're you're able to accept payments on Facebook, then eventually Facebook will ask your, for your social security number. Now, the reason they ask for that is the same reason that PayPal asks for it, and eBay, if you're if you're on managed payments, asks for it. It's because they have to by law, because they have to report that to the IRS. It's you know the IRS they always want to know when you're making money. So this is another example of that. So you do have to enter in your social security number. Now, if you don't have one, um, let me check. Because when I took a screenshot, when I, I'm not able to check right now. But I think you can maybe enter an ITIN, unless I'm confused now with something else. I'll have to go back and look at my screenshots and my notes that I took when I was doing it. Um, but you might be able to do it with an ITIN. What's the price range of the course? So we're still working that out. It's definitely gonna be less than $500, but how much less, I don't know. But kind of use a $500, you could say definitely gonna be under that. So this is something else I'm gonna be talking about soon. So there are ways, there's multiple different ways to sell on Facebook Marketplace, let me say that. So there's the way that I just showed you when you're listing items directly into Facebook Marketplace. And when you're using that system, there isn't really a great way, great way to automate things. The best we've been able to find is this Chrome extension. That's why I made this, because I was frustrated myself having to manually move or copy and paste listings onto Facebook Marketplace, which is why this Chrome extension was developed. So yeah, so like taking all this and just copying it over, it was just way, way too, too much work. So what we've done now is we've developed a Chrome extension which does that for you, right? I do like this. <clears throat> oh, this wasn't fully loaded yet. So that was the issue there. Let's try it again. Yeah. So this at least at least starts that automation process, right? This will at least get you to list this item up much faster. The problem is that when you use Facebook Marketplace in this way, there is no API. There's no way to hook in with Facebook Marketplace. So you can't really develop a software that directly integrates with it. <clears throat> so things like price adjustments and stock adjustments. So what's I just listed up this item from Amazon. What if it goes out of stock? Right? I would have to manually go onto Amazon uh, sorry, go on here and list this as out of stock. What if the price changes on Amazon? What if it goes up by $20? I'll have to manually come here on Facebook and, and change the price of that. Now that's not so bad. Um, on Sunday, I'm going to be releasing a video, fingers crossed, releasing a video on Sunday talking more about the different automation tools that I found out about and that I'm using for Facebook Marketplace. This is the first one that I had to develop because I didn't like anything else that I saw out there that does this. And then if you're selling another way on Facebook Marketplace, there is more automation into this. And the way to do that is through um, different integrations with Shopify and things like that. So that's something I'll be talking about on Sunday. because I really wanna show you guys, show you what it looks like and I'll be able to make a full video for Sunday. Um, what is the profit margin you can get by drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace? <clears throat> so the, the profit margin I found is really excellent when you look at when I've compared it to like eBay and Amazon, it's still really high. So um, yeah, in terms of comparisons, I would say Facebook Marketplace is, is doing really excellent right now. We're seeing like over 20% profit margins, even higher than that. They don't always provide tracking numbers, but they do sometimes. Um...
So we're seeing a lot of different categories that do really well. So usually if we're seeing things are doing well on eBay, then there's a really good chance, but not necessarily, but there's a good chance they're going to do well on Facebook Marketplace as well. Um, we also see some categories that just always seem to be hot no matter where I sell them, eBay, Amazon, or Facebook. Things like tools, things like just home goods. A lot of home decorations do really well on Facebook Marketplace. Little, I, I call them tchotchkes. You know, there's little things you have around the house that just add a little bit of decoration, you know, like a, like a vase or you know, like a little nice mini statue, just kind of stuff like that. Okay. Yep, training is in less than a week, the live training, and that will also kick off the course as well. Six days drop shipping on Facebook and almost a thousand sales with 35% profit profit. How is this scalable? All right, so you've already proven the concept, right? Scalability, there's a few different ways that you can scale this. So first of all, you need to add in as much automation as you can. So what I've done, because I faced the same struggle. When I, when I saw success with Facebook Marketplace, I was like, okay, that's great, but I put a lot of time into this. How can I now scale this in a reasonable way? So that's why I, I needed two things. One, I needed someone else to find the products because that takes a lot of time. Um, the second thing that I needed was a way to then quickly add those products to Facebook because right now I don't really feel comfortable letting a virtual assistant into my um, into my personal Facebook account or the Facebook account that I'm drop shipping on. So yeah, so I, I don't I don't want to give a virtual assistant access to that. So what you have to do is find another way around that. So what I've done is now my virtual assistant, what I'm gonna have her start doing is just creating a spreadsheet where she puts in the spreadsheet all the items she found and puts the markup. So it would be like 1.3 mark or 30% markup, 20% markup, whatever it is. And usually it's all about the same anyway. So put in the price for all of them uh, and the title as well. So then all I have to do is open those up with the spreadsheet, right? So then that would open up like, like let's say this one right here. Let me refresh this. And then I'll have this one right here. So I would have like, let's say these two items open and then I can quickly just use the tool to list the item onto Facebook Marketplace and then do the second one, right? And then what I can do is in the spreadsheet she gave me, she'll have the titles. So I'll, I'm optimized title because I don't like to use the one supplied by Walmart or Amazon or Home Depot. Now just copy that title and then paste it here to replace this one that, that was given. And then I'll be good to go because that that's like most of the work right there. As for fulfilling orders, luckily there's already a great software that does that, spot and paste and spot and paste allows us to quickly copy addresses from Facebook and paste them onto our supplier's website when checking out. So I use that and it works really great. And like I said, I'm gonna do like a full rundown of all the software we're gonna be using on Sunday, I think, hopefully. And then you can see that also. I'll show you this tool again, this Chrome extension. Sorry, my dog's a little sick. I'll show you spot and paste and I'll show you the other one I've been working with as well. It will be publicly available, just not uh, just not yet. Yeah. <laughs> I always do. So, yeah, so with this, you definitely still need an Excel spreadsheet because this isn't tracking your price changes and things like that. So there's different software you can use to, to track price changes and, and stock changes. I don't own any software like that. Like I, I don't make any software like that, I should say, but I am using one and I'm, I'm trying to get people to make better ones as well. All your items will be in that. So that's a place where all your items are. But even though it's in a software, I still have an Excel, shell, Excel sheet or a Google sheet actually that has all my items because I, just, I like to have an actual, Chuck went by really fast. I like to have an actual like hard copy spreadsheet with everything in it. Um, yeah, so like it's in the spreadsheet, it's in the 
the repricing software, the repricing software. Um, and I say repricing software because it's not actually going to reprice the item on Facebook Marketplace for me, but it will send me alerts and say, hey, this item needs to be repriced, and then I can manually go in and, and change that price. Um, so in there, it's in there as well, and it's on Facebook. So it's really in three places. So the six weeks of coaching, okay. Julie said, I love you, Paul. So don't worry, the the six weeks of coaching is really optional. Um, you, It's still gonna be the same price, but what happens is you uh, it's group coaching. So you'll still get all the videos, you can watch them whenever you want. But if you wanna go through a system where you like go through week by week doing different objectives, then you can follow along in those group coaching calls but it's totally optional for you. Um, this is a separate course. Yeah, you can't, well, if you sell, you, if you sell it through Facebook Marketplace, then you can't really do that. You just have to kind of relist it. This is the easiest thing I found to do. Um, yeah, this is something I'll be talking about. I definitely cover in the course and I might be talking about it in the live training as well. So just to remind you guys that you should definitely check out the links in the description of the video because we have the, where is it? The live training that you guys can sign up for. This is the sales page for the course but if you click on the button, it will allow you to sign up for the live training I'll be doing next week. And you guys can hop in and you know, learn for free all about Facebook Marketplace and then check out the course and join the course with all the bonuses. So that will be your first chance to do that. Yeah, if, if Facebook is not able to track the tracking number, then what they will do is they'll just release the money to you later. It takes about 21 days, they say, although some people get them around 17 days, so it's kind of a gray area there, but it's basically around three weeks that it'll take. It's three weeks from the sale to get your item. Uh, sorry, to get your money. Had list, last, I had one item sell within 20 minutes of listing on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, they can happen really fast on Facebook Marketplace. Um, yes, I, I cover that. The Chrome extension is called, let me show you it again, because I know some of you join in the middle of it. It's called the, let's wait for it to load, Dropshipping Titans Marketplace Helper. It's not available to the public yet, um, but will be in the future, and I'll make a video when that is available. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, you're 13, you made four sales, you're making money online already. So that's awesome. Um, oh, thanks, I appreciate that, Robert. Hey, what's up, Dave from Clearwater? I was just right by there. Beautiful area. No, so there are some limitations, so you, so let me clarify this. So your question is, can foreign dropshippers sell in the US with a new US Facebook account? Please, I can't do that with my personal Facebook account. Thanks. So Facebook Marketplace is available in most countries. Most, most countries can access Facebook Marketplace. Now in 2020, Facebook added the option to be able to ship items through Facebook Marketplace. So now, when you find items, some of them will have an option where you can buy it directly on Facebook. And if you buy it directly on Facebook, the person you're buying it from will ship the item to you. So that's really what allowed dropshipping on Facebook Marketplace to start to make sense and start to work. 
Now, not everyone who sells on Facebook Marketplace will be able to accept payments through Facebook. So we call that the shipping option. If you have the shipping option, then customers can pay you directly through Facebook payments, and then you'll get the money, and then or it will be in your Facebook account, and then you'll ship the item out to the customer. Um, if you don't have that shipping option, there's a few reasons why you might not have it. First of all, it might not be available in your country yet. It is available in the USA and a few other countries, but most countries is not available, but it is available in the USA. Also, it's not gonna be available to you if you have a brand new Facebook account, a relatively new Facebook account. If that's the case, then you have to give it time for Facebook to allow you to have the, the shipping option. It won't be available to you right away. So the best thing to do if you have a newer account is just to start to sell items on Facebook Marketplace anyway, either locally or you can actually sell them. You can act, you actually can drop ship them, but you just can't accept the payment on Facebook. And then eventually as your account gets older, Facebook should release the shipping option to you eventually. Now, if there are some other ways around that, there are some other ways if you really want the shipping option to get it, and that's something I cover in my course. Um, I mean, you, you can't get it, but there are some there are other options available to you. And then, what was the other thing I was gonna say about that? That might've been it. Yeah, I feel like there's something else I wanted to cover with that, but we'll leave it at that. Um, all right, answer that already. Hey, Scott, how's it going, man? Hope you're doing well. Scott was one of the OG dropshipping titans back in the day. Kenny says, cool beans. Um, you have to check if you have the shipping option. I think the UK does have the shipping option, but don't quote me on that. Okay, cool. So that, that's what remains to be seen, right? So eBay dropshipping, Amazon dropshipping, it's been around for a long time and we've always found ways to make it work no matter what kind of hurdles have been thrown in our way. So there is, we know that there's sustainability with those models. We know that they work, they're tested, and we, without a doubt, they're going to continue to work in the future in one form or the other. Facebook Marketplace is still so new. Facebook only added the shipping option last year. Yes, drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace existed before that. Even if the shipping option wasn't available, we could still make it work. But Facebook Marketplace adding that shipping option really boosted up drop shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So what happens if that if they stop doing that? You know, we, we just don't know. It's still very new but there's a lot of value in the fact that it's so new. So for instance, one, not many people know that you can drop ship on there. Not many people know that you can actually kind of make a business out of it or like a real side hustle out of it. So it's still really untapped. The margins are really good and people are playing nice. They're not driving down the prices. So it's a really cool kind of place to be selling right now. Um, really lucrative place to be selling. It's also really cool because it's so new, they haven't built out a lot. If you go onto eBay, log into your an eBay selling account or your Amazon selling account, there's a lot there. There's a lot of settings, there's a lot of different things you can change, and that can be kind of sometimes overwhelming and confusing. But on Facebook Marketplace, it's just so simple right now. It's a very scaled down selling experience, which can be frustrating because you know if you really wanna customize things, that's gonna be more difficult to do, but it's also kind of like a relief. It's also kind of refreshing because you just sign in, there's not much you can change. It's just very simple to get started with it. And then you can, um, yeah, and then we're adding these little softwares in there just to make it better and work even better. Because like for instance, you can't even connect through API and I, I doubt they're gonna add the option to, to work with API later. So for now, we just kind of have these workarounds with Chrome extensions and things like that. So it's really, I think it's a really hot opportunity right now. Kind of one of those things, I, I, one of my favorite expressions is, you know, make hay while the sun shines. You know, this is an opportunity right now that I'm jumping on and I'm encouraging other people to jump on because we just don't know. 
how long the harvest is going to be on this and like how long this is going to last for but while it's working now i'm going to get a piece of it and i kind of encourage you to get a piece of it as well while it still lasts all right so first thank you for the super chat really appreciate that i kind of answered this question already but let's read it anyway is there any way yet to get the shipping option if you don't have it any uh, definite answers yet I still have yet to get a solid answer so like I said it depends on a lot of factors um, if you're in the United States and you have a new account just wait start selling more products locally start using it and the shipping option should become available um, but yeah that's the only thing you can you can really do to get it you and Chad should come to Palm Springs really nice here yeah we'll add it to the list Um, so thank you for uh, glad you like it. Again, we hope to release it next week, but I got to I got to get in t I got to uh, touch base with the beta, beta users. We already had a couple issues, which I think is to be expected, and then I'll make sure it's working out good. No, it's only for listing items. Ah, okay. See, I don't even know these terms. I don't even know these terms. We have alpha users right now. Uh, We'll get beta users later. Okay. <laughs> Should have got my uh, verbiage correct. <sighs> Jay, never buy from Kohl's on the payment plan. That's how they get you. <laughs> Colorado. We love Colorado. We were there 2020. Went to Garden of the Gods, one of my favorite places in the world, really. It's beautiful there. Thank you, Mike Marvelous. No, I did not write the extension myself. I think it, I think I kind of want to make a video all about developing the Chrome extension because it is another way to make money online. And so after this is all over, I'm going to make a video explaining the whole process of making the Chrome extension, how I did it, and how much money I made from it as well. I've maxed out my Walmart credit card and overwhelming with orders now. So congratulations, Daniel. Ultimately, that's a good thing, right? To get more sales that you can't even keep up with or that your credit card can't keep up with. Can't keep up with. Totally understand that feeling. So yes, yeah, sp spread it out. You know, the Walmart credit card is awesome because it gets you that 5% back, but you can use other credit cards and maybe give you 2% back. Um... All right, Facebook sales have slowed down. Same stuff I was selling before. So there could be a few reasons for that. What I'm seeing is that listings kind of get old on Facebook Marketplace and you constantly have to renew them or add more products. That's like the biggest thing I could tell you is that you constantly have to be adding more products because Facebook really, they really surface and they really show newer products to customers. Hey, what's up, Tim in Western Kentucky? We have affiliates. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, thanks, Jay. I appreciate that. I'm not 100% sure on that. My experience has been good. I have heard of a few people getting banned. Um, there's a few reasons that I know for sure. There was one reason I know for sure it can happen. And some other ones I've just only heard rumors about and haven't really seen concrete proof of. So the one that I know for sure is if you ever sell, if you ever do marketing using Facebook ads, and you do something that's against uh, uh, Facebook's kind of rules for ads and they ban your, your, your advertising account, then they also will ban you from getting the shipping option on Facebook Marketplace. 
So, for instance, like you see those ads on Facebook. You like you might have seen my ads in the past. You might have seen um, some other people's ads for any products. If whoever is running those ads, they make some like uh, they do something that that's against Facebook's rules for ads, and they get banned from using Facebook, then they can sell on Facebook Marketplace, but they won't be able to get that shipping option. So I have seen that happen. And then um, the other rumors are that if you list too many items too quickly, you can get banned. So I just, I went slow and I'm encouraging everyone to go slow listing items, but that's really the only issues that I've seen or heard about, rumored about. Uh, they don't let you enter an EIN, unfortunately. So you have to enter in your social. Um, same kind of question. I know you, I'm pretty sure it's just a show, social. Let me, let me pull up the, let me dive into my folders here and see if I can find the screenshot I took when I was setting that up. Um, here we go. What is that called? It was this one. Um, hmm. Maybe it's over here. No, I, I don't know where it is. I don't want to waste. Oh, here it is. So let me mute my computer. Let me pull this up. Let's take a look. So. You can enter your social security number or your ITIN. That's what they want. And that's the only options they give you. I just had to pull up my uh, the video from the course that I'm making where I go over that because I couldn't quite remember off the top of my head. Well, I did remember. I just wasn't confident I remembered correctly. Uh, is it worth getting... You can still drop ship. It's just not going to be as um, probably as lucrative, but it still is possible. You can also partner up with someone in the USA and sell on their account. So this is something I'm going to be adding. It's uh, I don't want to promise it's going to be available right away, but it will be something that I plan to add fairly quickly. Um, to it. I want to buy your virtual assistant training. I wonder if virtual assistants can create an eBay account and get your business rolling from A to Z. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust it. I mean, there are some who claim that they do it. I'm sure there's some who could do it, but Really, it's your business, okay? You're, you're the one who should get behind it and should be the one who's really making sure it gets off the ground correctly. The virtual assistants that you hire, they're, they're just going to do what you tell them to do. And to have them just run your set up and run your entire account, that's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky. Hey, what's up, Bryce? Thanks for the message. Thanks for the... Uh, Super chat, I can't promise that. Like I said, I can only promise it's going to be under 500 at this point. It's not sure of what it what it will be. But Bryce, I will give you a $5 discount on the course. <laughs> uh, oh, and, and also, if you come to the live training, which again, again, it's linked up in the uh, description of this video. If you come to this, the there, there will be a chance to win the new course. So... Yeah, and maybe there'll be a chance to win the Chrome extension, like a lifetime access to it. So I'll throw that, yep, yeah, I'll make that promise right now. So somebody will win that Chrome extension as well. Lifetime access to it. Okay. Um... Yeah, so these are all things that is again kind of getting into nitty gritty of things that we talk definitely talk about in the course, and I can answer during the live training as well. 
because Facebook asks you to choose a city that the item is located in, and that can get, there's there's some strategy there that I definitely wanna be talking about. So um, yeah, so that's something we, we can talk about definitely in the course and hopefully during the live training as well. Love it, Sass. <laughs> Um, I'm not sure what other software you mean. I don't think I recommended anything yet. But yeah, I mean, this is obviously the one I would recommend for listing items. Jay says, the profit has been almost silly on Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, that's how it feels like. It's like, wow, like that, people are willing to pay that much. Yeah, you might as well. You definitely can go, you can get tax exempt. And that's something I, I, of course, cover in the in the course as well, how to become tax exempt at Walmart, Home Depot, and Amazon, which are like the big suppliers to use. Yeah, I think that's wrong. I think I think that's crossing a the line there, Jay. <laughs> yeah, if you're a Shopify fan, then you are going to love Facebook Marketplace as well. There's a lot you can do with Facebook Marketplace and Shopify um, that works really well together. Do you mean if you buy from Amazon? Sorry, Bill, do you mean if you buy from Amazon? It rarely happens. It, it has happened to a lot of people because they've kind of abused things by buying all these kind of shady discounted Amazon gift cards. If you stay away from that, if you just use your credit card on Amazon, I haven't seen anyone have a problem. I buy a lot from Amazon these days from uh, for Facebook Marketplace, and I use my Amazon credit card on Amazon using Amazon Prime, and I've had no issues with it at all. Uh, I answered that one. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, 20% margin is low for Facebook Marketplace. Um, all right, I'm loving all these thumbs up. Thanks, everyone. Yeah, I can definitely do that. So I, I showed you Walmart. I'll show it again, and let's do Home Depot. So um, let's share the screen. That will go away in a second. So we have a Walmart item. Let's pull up a Home Depot item. And then let's 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 clear this one. I'll refresh so it clears out. Let's close these. All right. So we have here this item on Walmart. Actually, let's find a new one. Just so you see, like this thing. It's a little bit cheap, but okay. So now I can select here where it says select copy two. FB tab one. So you got to give it like a second because what it's doing is grabbing all the images and it'll work faster, I think, if you have a better internet connection, which I do not have. And then you see, pulled in all the images. You can choose, obviously, which one you want. It marked it up in price. Just basically took the price and times it by 1.3 because that's what I have it set at right now. And it pulled in the whole description as well. Okay. Now we can do the same thing for Home Depot. Let's find a random item. Is this a shipping item? It'll let you list anything, even if it's not a shipping item, but we like to do the right thing, list the right products. So this one, I will select FB tab two. And you see it cycles between the images as it copies them and then brings it over here. And the images always take a little bit to load when your internet's slow, like mine is. So you see it pulls in the images. Let's choose a better main one, like this one. It pulls in the title, and also truncate the title automatically. So if the title's too long, it just cuts it off. Um, yeah, it does that. And then it marked it up by 1.3. And the condition is new, and this is the whole description right here. So. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple to use. Very easy to use once you get set up. All right. It was getting a little dark over here. Um, OK, 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I, this this will be in the Facebook course. So I'm going to give you guys a spreadsheet. Let me let me write down a note to make sure I do that. So first note I have to remember is give away Chrome extension to someone. Lifetime access. And then spreadsheet bonus. Yeah, so I'll give you guys a spreadsheet to help you like do the math. So you know how much to price your products for. I give you a spreadsheet template that you can use for your listings. So you can list out all the products you have listed up. And another one that I use for my sales to keep track of sales and profit as well. So. Um, I'm offended, Jay. I like this shirt. <laughs> leave off now the extension will be paid it'll be a, like a monthly subscription so Facebook they take care of sales tax for us right now they are the one who are their marketplace so they are required by many states to collect the sales tax and remit it same way that eBay and Amazon does that for most of the states so that's pretty nice that right out the gate they're doing that yeah, that was a dog coughing. He's been really sick. When it gets humid out, he gets a really bad cough for whatever reason. He has a, well, we know he has a collapsed trachea, which is uh, fairly common in small dogs, and certain things just make it worse. So we think humidity makes it worse. All right. Yeah, so I'm not really sure about this one. It's probably because they figured something out. Uh, they saw that your Facebook account didn't match your bank details, and that's kind of like, kind of a little bit uh, sketchy there. So that might be why. You might just want to do everything under your dad's name with his permission. <laughs> um. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's it's it might be easier just keep it in the software. I mean, it's there anyway. The spreadsheet's so easy to use. The spreadsheet I'm going to give you guys, so you might as well just throw it in there. Oh, something wrong with the sound? I didn't realize there was a uh, sound issue with the sound. I'm kind of in a new space, so. I don't know. It's pretty small, so it shouldn't be echoey in here. So I'll, I'll listen back to it later and try to make it better next week. Mm. All right, so we are still got some time left, so I'm going to keep going through these questions. So, let me go to the end, because I'm way behind these chats. I didn't even see Jay's super chat for $5.01, because he's super competitive. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go to the end of... Check, can you go on and just kick some people off? Thanks. <laughs> you gotta get a moderator in here. Okay. 
Sorry about that. We're, I was behind on chat, so I didn't see all the spam coming through anyone who's in chat. So we're going to take care of that right now. That's, um, that's, that is another feature of our Chrome extension that I don't think we're going to leave in there. So let me show you what we can do right now, but it's not really, not really needed at the moment. Uh, this was like a remnant of the first version of it. So if I click on download product images, my Chrome extension actually doesn't even work anymore. Yeah, so we'll have to remove that. The fact that it even shows the button. Because it used to, when we first developed the Chrome extension, it wasn't able to automatically copy the images and paste them over. Uh, so we had to download them. And now it does automatically bring over the images, but we just got to get rid of this button. So we'll have to fix that. It's not the worst thing. Yeah. No sound issue here. Oh, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's that. Um... Yes, I'm using Virtual Assistant to find the items for me. And then, again, I'm not letting her log into the Facebook account because it's still, um, yeah, I just don't, there's nothing, I mean, she's, you can trust Virtual Assistants, right, to a certain extent. I mean, you don't know who they are, but eventually you work with them, you can trust them. But, you know, having them log into my eBay account, it's, it's strange because, like, I have Virtual Assistants log into my eBay account, right? I have them log into my Amazon account. And there's like, there's money in there, right? It's, it's, it's a place where like money goes through. So, but with Facebook, it just feels like more personal, right? You don't want to give someone access to your Facebook account. Um, well, it's not a big deal, but like giving it to like a virtual assistant overseas, I don't know. You know what I mean? It's just kind of strange. So I haven't quite, we haven't quite gotten to the point where we feel comfortable doing that yet. Um, yeah, the best thing I found is just to relist the item. 18 is usually the best. Um, let's just rewind it because I went over it a couple of times. I'll show it again at the very end in about a minute. going on here all right so the chat just kind of just devolved here just kind of fell apart anyone who's here live sorry about that I got to set it up so I can ban people directly from from computers. So I do apologize for that, um, but that's okay. I hopefully was able to deliver you guys some awesome content. So if I did, make sure to hit that like button down below. And let me show you right now, again, the Chrome extension one last time. But before I do that, a reminder, make sure to join me next week. We're doing a live. The next time I'm going live is on Monday, February 1st at 7 p.m. Eastern time. I'll do a live training all about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. It'll be a chance to ask questions you have for me. There'll be a chance to win the new course, win lifetime access to the Chrome extension for as long as the Chrome extension exists. Um, so yeah, be there. There'll be great other prizes as well and just a lot of great free content. And I'll show you the Chrome extension one more time because I love showing it off. So let me refresh this page to empty it out. And then, and then go like that. It's that, oops, yep, there we go. It's that easy, guys. It's that simple. You press one button and it just does that. So there you go. Um, thanks everyone for joining us. Thanks for all the great questions. And I'll see you guys on Monday at the live training for Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping. Bye guys.